Good evening, hola a todos, hello semuanya, kia ora koutou katoa. Hey, um, I want to give you guys my language learning tips, my top 10 language learning tips uh, that I've learned based on experience and uh, you can, hopefully you can benefit from them, uh, take what you want, discard what you don't and uh, good luck. So here we go. So this video isn't too long, I want to get straight into it. The first one is kind of obvious but necessary. Accept that it's a challenge, accept that you'll make mistakes, accept that you will be wrong a lot. You'll make mistakes a lot, the same mistakes even, several times, many times, until you get it. Uh, if you can accept that and progress and keep going with determination, you'll make it. The second one, learn what's necessary. Dis uh, prioritize what's necessary. Now for each of us that can be different, so there's no rule on that. But what I do, my suggestion is imagine you're, uh, or plan, if you're planning to go to the country of your target language, even if you're not, but imagine you are, what do you need to know? What's really important? Now, I think universally we accept that greetings and uh, pleasantries, small talk, meeting people is the, most, is, is the first thing to learn. But beyond that, then what? I mean, when you're traveling, you need to to buy things, you need to get directions, you need to go places, you need to be able to ask for help. I mean, think about it in those terms of what's necessary and then go from there. Third one, uh, use what you learn as soon as possible. Now, I'm not talking about wait till you go on this trip or move to the country or whatever. I'm talking about ASAP. So learn something and then uh, if you've set up, and I'll come to this in another point, if you've set up uh, online, you're on online communities or have friends that you chat with, either in real life or online, make comments, send messages, use what you learn. Ask about that thing because for me personally, use it or lose it. All right, I'm not good. My memory is not reliable to just remember word lists and recall it when I need it. I tend to need to use what I learn as soon as I can. Uh, the next one which is related to the last one. Make friends. Make friends to communicate with. Uh, there's untold people, thousands if not millions of people around the world online, on the online world or in your community perhaps, who speak that language that you're learning. Make friends with them. Um, when I started learning Indonesian, uh, after I'd been doing it alone for a couple of months, just on uh, online and alone, I realized I want to communicate with people. I want to actually use this language I'm learning. And I reached out to Indonesian people in my community and they were awesome. They were lovely. They were very, and we're now very good friends. And, and it's, it's not just about the language now. We're actual friends. I'm friends with those people. So reach out, all right, so that you've got people to communicate with. It makes the language learning real, not just something to study. Um, next one. Find something fun that you like to do and, and utilize the language for that. For me, it's music, so I learned lots of songs. In fact, I have another YouTube channel which is just singing and playing Indonesian songs. Um, I used that very early on in the piece because it was fun. Um, I would learn a song, I would learn it on guitar, I'd sing it to my heart's content and have no idea what I was singing about at first. And then, you know, after a while, I'll go, okay, let's uh, look at these lyrics and break it down and make sure I sort of have at least a general understanding of the song, if not all of the words. So if your thing is, you know, art or fashion or sports or current events or history, you know, find something you like and use the language. Next one, explore different methods to find what you enjoy, because if you enjoy it, if you enjoy the ways that you're learning your language, you will stay motivated to keep doing it. That's really important. Um, there's so many different methods. We've never lived at a, in a better time to learn a language because of the tools out there, the resources, there's videos, there's books, there's ebooks, there's just a million different ways that we can learn lang any language we choose, just, to, just about. It's true, though, that lesser known languages internationally have fewer resources. Te Reo Māori is one of those. But even within Aotearoa, New Zealand, we have lots of uh, Māori learning resources. Um, not as maybe as many and as developed as big international languages like English, French, Spanish, Japanese, etc. But we have plenty. So explore them. Be prepared to change. Like you'll start out in one method or, or group of resources and then maybe they'll get boring and you'll find a better one and just keep moving okay um, there's lots out there but finding a method you enjoy is really important otherwise it's easier to give up because you're bored or whatever um, this one might sound a bit weird but I mean it talk to yourself uh, have little conversations with yourself in your target language um, I do that a lot I do it by habit um, I might read or see something or hear something 
in English or Maori or whatever language and then ask myself, how would I say that in Indonesian? How would I say that in Spanish? How would I say that in Maori? Um, and that way you're like constantly using your surroundings for language and you know, you don't have to wait till you're communicating with someone. You can talk to yourself. Um, balance your skills. Language is basically, you know, it is speaking, listening, reading, and writing. That's what language is. So try and balance your skills as best you can. Uh, work on your, like, enjoy your strengths. Like, run with it because that's part of your motivation to do what you enjoy. But don't allow your weaknesses to sort of get left behind. Um, I discovered that the hard way. I was focusing too much on speaking Indonesian and not enough listening comprehension. So I've learned that now. I've learned my lesson and I'm trying to catch that up. Um, next one. Oh, consider this one's maybe an odd one as well, but consider a third language. Now that might seem crazy at first because you're like, man, I'm, I'm just dealing with the difficulty of this language, let alone another one. But hear me out. If you learn languages generally, your language learning skills and those parts of your brain, I don't know anything really about the, the physiology of it, but your brain gets match fit, sort of like an athlete who's fit and strong can adapt to different sports and they are, they can be good at them pretty quickly because they're ready. Um, their coordination and strength. So think of it as your brain's strength and fitness and readiness to learn language. Uh, from experience, I can say that my Maori and my even my English, which is my first language, improved from learning Indonesian and now I'm learning Spanish and I'm utilizing skills from the different ones to enhance that. So I believe, I have absolute faith and trust that my Spanish will benefit from my other languages. So don't be afraid to try another language, even if it's just once a week for half an hour, you know, whatever. Um, okay, I think this is the lucky last one, but it's certainly not least. And this one seems cliche and maybe it is, but don't give up. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Either there's there's actual websites out there, YouTube channels, yeah, be, be fluent in a week, and be fluent even three months or even six months is unrealistic, all right, it's, they're, they're just marketing tools, to be honest, some people have a knack or whatever, sure, okay, I won't completely write them off, but by and large, they're just trying to get you to subscribe to their uh, methods and buy their app or whatever, subscribe, so anyway, um, it's a marathon, Mar language learning is a, takes time, I mean, think about your first language, kids, you know, spend their their first 10, 15 years learning how to speak, really, when you think about all of the different levels, um, and they're immersed in it, and so if you're not immersed in your target language, um, you have to be patient, and you have to, while you're being patient, realize you're going to make mistakes, you're going to have to repeat, you know, things you thought you already knew because you forgot them, and that's part of it, don't give up. Um, I'm at, in the process of moving from what I'd call an intermediate level of Indonesian, trying to push towards um, an advanced level. That said, I can't push too hard because you can't force your brain to learn. I mean, you can push it and guide it and massage it into it, but at the end of the day, if you, if you force too hard, your brain will sort of like reject it and It'll just become painful and miserable. I mean, you want to keep enjoying it. So take your time, but don't give up. So those are my language learning tips. Um, like I say, take what you will from them. Um, at least give them a thought. But hey, at the end of the day, you will decide what's best for you. But languages is a really good thing. It's a really awesome thing. And in an increasingly globalized world, I think it's um, I think it's actually in the English-speaking world, under under-promoted, underutilized skill. So, you know, good luck with your language learning. If it's Te Reo Māori here in New Zealand, uh, regardless of your ethnicity, I encourage that absolutely. But I also encourage anybody to learn other languages. It's a, it's opens up a whole new world and it's, it's really, really cool. So good luck everybody. And, um, you know, if you like the video, if you feel free to comment, like, share, all of that stuff, you know, you know the drill. Um, but yeah, good luck. And uh, I hope you have success with your language learning. Kia ora, thank you very much.